Empire Graphics and Printing, the number one graphics and printing company in Florida. Club flyers, mixtape covers, posters, they do it all. Reach them at 407 404 0509. Violence and Embrace Concert and Candlelight Vigil Presented by the Gospel Daytoners And our Japanaki Music Saturday, July 13, 2013 At 5 p.m. Free admission Location, Mount Pleasant, MBC 4077 Prince Hall Boulevard Orlando, Florida 32811 Stop the Violence and Embrace Concert and Candlelight Vigil This is Ricky Weeks. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Come see the Orlando Monarchs play their summer collegiate baseball games at Tinker Field. Opening game day is Thursday, June 6th. We are reviving baseball in downtown Orlando, featuring Major League Baseball coaches, Latin players, and other top players from historically black colleges and universities throughout the country. Your fun day at Tinker Field starts at 2 p.m. for the Music Fan Fest, followed by the game at 4 p.m. There will be free parking and general admission tickets are only $5. Come see the stars of tomorrow. Play today at Orlando Monarchs Summer Collegiate Baseball Games at Tinker Field. Opening day, Thursday, June 6th. For more information, call 407-462-1069. Visit us at OrlandoMonarchsBaseball.com or email us at RickyWeeks2 at gmail.com. And this is Ricky Weeks. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Invest in your future. Start a profitable career in the beauty field. For a low tuition, you can become a nail tech, a skin care technician, a cosmetologist, or a makeup artist, or learn eyelash and extension. Earn good money. The tuition is affordable for everyone. We can install payments to fit your budget and flexible schedules to fit your own schedule. Call us at 407 292 6727 or Come in and visit us at 6112 Silver Star Road, Orlando, Florida, 32808. We are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Invest in your future. Florida's Juneteenth Music Festival Celebration, June 13th through the 18th, Orlando, Florida, 2013, 150-year anniversary of the emancipation of slavery in the United States. Sponsoring organizations, the Lampfield Community College, the Wells Built Museum, and the Metro Orlando NPHC. Stop the violence and embrace concert and candlelight visual. Will began or will be Saturday, July 13, 2013, 5 p.m. And remember this, free admission. And it is held at Mount Pleasant Missionary Baptist Church. And also the address is 4077 Prince Hall Boulevard, Orlando, Florida, 32811. Please be there. I will. Need a lawyer? Call Anthony Smith Law PA. Auto accident, personal injury, Slip and fall, dial 866-520-4LAW, or you can visit them on the web at www.anthony-smithlaw.com, offices Orlando, taking care of you. Ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to That Is What I Am Talking About. Come around, sit on down, and enjoy the show. And, Noah, during the first episode, uh, I didn't ask you, but uh, do you have any regrets? Anything that you're regretting or want to discuss as part of regrets? Yeah, Bob, Bob. Yeah, Bob, Bob. Uh, You know, Bob, you know, I I do have some regrets, Bob. Uh, I got regrets in life and everything, Bob, and, uh, you know... You know, Bob, yeah, yeah, Bob, yep, got a lot of them, yeah, Bob, yep, 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 got a lot, got a lot, got a lot. Oh, uh, hold that thought, Noah, hold that thought. We have a special caller. Yes, Noah, we have a special caller, and you will like this. You know, he doesn't call us often. You know, he's traveling all the time and working. Your father, Dr. Beach, is on the line, Noah. Dr. Beach is on the line. Good day, Dr. Beach. Uh, good day, Bob. How are you, Bob? Noah, how are you, Noah? I haven't talked to you in a while, buddy. How are you over there, buddy? I'm good, Dad. Good, good, good. Appreciate you calling, Dad. I love it, Dad. Love it, love it, love it, love it. Mom's gonna love it. Where are you at, Dad? Uh, where, where, where are you at now, but, uh, Dad? Uh, you're listening to us and everything. I appreciate you listening to me, Dad. You know, I'm so so happy. You know, I just wanted you to be proud of my work, Dad. I uh, love it, love it, love it, love it, love it. Yeah, uh, 
no, I'm, you know, still traveling, and, uh, you know, I, I went on uh, online, and I, I'm listening to your show, and you guys are talking about regrets and everything, and so I just wanted to call in, and I, you know, I got a few regrets, too, I want to talk about, and, you know, you know, and I want to hear my son work and everything, and so, you know, you got, you're on the show and everything, and you, you're heard all around the world, so I'm proud of you, son, proud of you, son, and so, yeah, son, yeah, 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 I got some regrets, too, son, yep, 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 yep. Well, Dr. Beach, why don't you share those with us? We would love to hear your regrets, uh, you know, and uh, some of the lessons you've learned throughout your life. You know, you are a medical doctor and a well-respected one, so we'd love to hear your perspective, Dr. Beach. Well, Bob, Bob, yeah, Bob, Bob, uh, Bob, you know, I'm a doctor and everything, Bob, and, uh, but, uh, you know, I always wanted to be a, uh, a, uh, I always liked sewing when I was a little kid, and uh, I liked to sew clothes, make pants, shirts, and everything, and everything, Bob, and, uh, Bob, yeah. So I wanted to be, uh, you know, work in a factory, sewing clothes and everything, but my dad said, no, you can't do that, you, you know, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta study. Yeah, he taught me to study, 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 and so no, no more sewing, no sewing, no, 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 just studying, 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 reading, reading, studying, writing, writing, studying, study, study, study. So, you know, I regret that I did not do that. Uh, I regret that I went to medical school, and, uh, I've been living with that. I regret that I didn't, uh, pursue it. I've been living with that my whole life, Bob. Yep, Bob. Yep, regrets. Yep, 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 yep. Wanted to sew. Yep, sewing, sewing, sewing. Dr. Beach, let me, let me get this straight. You're saying to the listening audience that you regret going to medical school because you wanted to be a, a, I guess, a seamster? You wanted to sew clothes, so you regret going and pursuing that course of action. Yeah, Bob, that's, uh, that's my regret, Bob. I, I regret it. I wish that I, uh, had not gone to medical school. I wish I would have stuck to sewing clothes and, but I'm a doctor now and, you know, I think now I'll, I'm, uh, gonna get close to retirement age, so I think I'm gonna stop, uh, being a doctor and go and work in someone's factory and sew clothes. Uh, but Mr., uh, uh Dr. Beach, you're a well-respected doctor and you're gonna stop being a doctor to sew clothes. I, I can't wrap my brain around that. Yeah, Bob, you don't understand, but it's a regret, Bob. You know, I, I wanted to do it, and, uh, yeah. So, I, you know, I'm telling you, so everybody out there, just, you know, live your dream. Live your dream, and, you know, Noah, live your dream. Noah, don't don't uh, be afraid. Just go there and do what you want to do and uh, be who you want to be, Noah. Well, I'm glad you called in, Dad. I appreciate you calling in, Dad. So you, you've inspired me, Dad. Uh, all right, uh, Bob, Bob, I'm inspired. So let me tell you about my regrets. Bob, uh, Bob, I've always wanted to be a host, Bob, uh, you know, I'm working with you, Bob. You let me do in the news and everything, Bob. But you know, I I think I can do it. I think I'm good. I think I'm, you know, I think I'm better than you, Bob. I think I can do it, Bob. So you, you you know, that's my regret that I didn't really push myself out there. I just settled for being the co-host, Bob. So you know, that's it, Bob. Gonna be the host, Bob. Wanna be it? Wanna do it? Wanna do it? Do it? Do it? Do it? Do it? Yep, 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 yep. Noah, that's interesting. I'm I'm uh, I'm shocked uh, uh, that you would try to say it that way. I I I have never held you back. I don't mind. If you want to be a host of a show, I, I want you to have great aspirations, but, um, uh, you know, there's no competition between you and I. Yeah, Bob, but, uh, but, but, uh, you know, Bob, yeah, yeah, Bob, I, I want to be a host, Bob, you know, okay, okay, Bob, okay, just, you know, let me host the show a couple of days, Bob, let me host it a couple of days, you know, uh, a couple of days a week, Bob, you know, uh, let me give it a shot, Bob, and let, let me show you what I can do, Bob, and then, uh, you know, yeah, when you're absent and, you know, you need a substitute, you know, Bob, I can do it, Bob, yep, yep, I can do it, Bob, I can do it, do it, do it, do it. I love it, love it, love it, love it, love it, Bob. Yeah, Bob, let me do it, Bob. Let me do it. Do it, do it, do it. Noah, I, I don't have a problem with you hosting the show. I, I just am, uh, I am floored that you are saying this as though I have tried to hold you back. I am, you have hurt my feelings, Noah. Uh, uh, Bob A. Dingleman is now sad. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You are listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. We'll be back in a moment. Stay tuned. Beauty Academy. Invest in your future. Start a profitable career in the beauty field. For a low tuition, you can become a nail tech, a skin care technician, a cosmetologist, or a permanent makeup artist, or learn eyelash extensions. 
earn good money. The tuition is affordable for everyone. We have installment plans to fit your budget and flexible schedules to fit your own schedule. Call us at 407-292-6727 or come for a visit at 6112 Silver Star Road, Orlando 32808. We are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Email HollywoodBeautyAcademy at Yahoo.com. Invest in your future. This is Bob A. Dingleman here. Make sure you join us at the 2013 Juneteenth Festival. That's the 2013 Juneteenth Festival. For more festival information, please call 407-245-7535. That's 407-245-7535. Or visit us on the web at www.wb museum.wix.com wbmuseum.wix.com and you can get all of the festival information for the 2013 Juneteenth Festival. It's that time again for Juneteenth ladies and gentlemen. June 13th through the 18th. Call us at 407-245-7535 Thank you. What's up, Orlando? This is Miss Sassy D, and you're listening to the Jimmy Williams Show, WDRLPDE 4445. Car accident? Remember, after 911, call 411. 1-800-411-PAIN. Bobby Dingleman here. You're listening to That Is What I Am Talking About. Weekdays on WDROPDE 4445 on your internet drive. Listen to the best in talk radio and internet talk radio. On That Is What I Am Talking About. All right, we're back on That Is What I Am Talking About, and my assistant co-host Noah has told me some things that are that are disturbing to me. Noah says that he wants to be a host of a show, and Noah is blaming me for holding him back. Uh, I am, I'm, I'm sad, Noah. I'm hurt. I'm sad and I'm hurt. Don't be sad, Bob. You know, help me out, Bob. You know, somebody helped you out one time in life. Help me out, Bob. Let, let, let me become a big star like you, a worldwide star and everything, Bob. I want to have my own show too, Bob. I don't want to have this regret. I don't want to be like my dad and have yeah, a regret. Yeah, no, don't, don't be like me. Don't have a regret. Go for your dreams. Don't let Bob hold you back over there. Don't let Bob hold Dr. you back. Beats, I, I am appalled that you would say that, Dr. Beats. I have never held anyone back. I, uh, Oh, we're going to have to talk about this later, Noah. Uh, uh, we're going to talk about this later. Later, we're going to get with our callers. We're going to continue to talk about regrets, and and you and I will discuss this off the air. Uh, so, thank you, Doctor Beats, for calling. Thank you, Noah, for telling everyone your regrets. And now we're going to go to the phones. Caller, you're on the air. This is Edward from Jamaica. I am calling today about your show about regrets, Mister Dingleman. And I must apologize for all the people them I offended talking about some things in your past show. So if you would let me talk a little bit to the people listening to your radio show, I want to apologize because I regret saying the thing that I say in the past. All right, Edward from Jamaica. Uh, you have the phone and you have the floor. If you'd like to, uh, you know, say some things to our audience, please feel free to talk to our audience. Yes, this is Edward from Jamaica. Previously, I have said to your audience that the African American people are, the, the, the black American are lazy. They need to go to jail and everything like that. But Edward is, I regret saying that because at my job, the people then give me a hard time. They say I'm a racist. Edward can't be a racist. I black too. My skin is black too. My people from Africa. So, I, I just want to say to everybody that I am not a racist. So I will not say that about the African American, the black American anymore. Well, Edward, that is a good thing. Good thing that you are, uh, you know, we, we, we try to be positive on this show and not disparage anybody and not put anybody down. So the fact that you want to come and say you're sorry and you have a regret for doing that, we appreciate that. That takes a big person uh, to come and admit that. So, uh, uh is there anything else that you would like to say? Yes, Mr. Dingleman, I, I won't say that. I will not talk about the black African-American in a negative term like that anymore. 
I will just say that the people them that are in America that walk around with the pants hanging down and all the gold teeth them in their mouth, they must change because the world looks at them like they are fools. They can't come to Jamaica looking like that. We don't accept that. So I will not call them black and African American. I will just say the people them that look like that with the gold teeth and the pants hanging down and the lazy hanging under the tree drinking a beer. Okay, um, okay, whoever those people are, all right, you're not, you're not uh, calling out a group, you're just saying people that fit that description. You're saying that no one in Jamaica is like that? No one looks like that in Jamaica? It's that description? Never! Jamaica will not allow such a thing to come to Jamaica looking like that. Yes, lazy. The gold teeth and the parts hanging down, we don't allow that in Jamaica. Keep the people them like that out of Jamaica. We don't like that. Well, that's very interesting, uh, Edward, that you would say that, but uh, I think I've seen some pictures of people in Jamaica that may look like that, but you're saying that they don't. Well, Mr. Dingleman, some people may come to Jamaica, the, the, the Yankee them come over there and influence our youth, our, our youth to dress and look that way like the American and the rappers and everything like that, and we don't like that. They out of Jamaica with all of the things that you're talking, looking, dressing the gold teeth and the pants hanging down in the underwear showing. We do not like that in Jamaica. So keep that stuff over here in America. As a matter of fact, we don't even like Americans in Jamaica. Well, uh, uh, Edward, you, you've gone from insulting African Americans to all Americans. Uh, are you sure that you want to go down this path? You are, you are right, Mr. Mr. Dingerman. I, 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 I apologize to all, all the people in America. I am getting a little emotional and excited, and so I will not... See that. So just strike that, Mr. Dingerman. Don't put it on the ear. Cut it off of your radio show. Don't let anybody hear that because I do not want to go to work tomorrow and then everybody beat me up for saying that I hate America because I love America. America gave me a good job. America gave me 12 jobs. So don't put that on your radio show, Mr. Dingerman. But before I go, I have some words of advice for everybody in America. Okay, Edward, go ahead and uh, say what it is that you have to say. I must say something that we say in Jamaica. No woman, no cry. No woman, no cry. If a woman cry, she's soft. She needs to get put out of Jamaica. Don't cry. In America, don't cry. Be hard and tough. And stop being lazy and work. Oh, uh, okay, Edward. You're 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 back to getting emotional and you're offending people again. So, Edward, thank you for calling. We appreciate your input. Call again, Edward. Please call again. If you're listening to that is what I am talking about. We'll be back in a moment. Don't touch that dial. What's up, Orlando? This is Miss Sassy D, and you're listening to the Jimmy Williams Show, WDRLPDE 4445. Car accident? Remember, after 911, call 411. 1-800-411-PAIN. This is Miss Seely from Miss Seely Seafood and Nail Shop. We specialize in hog moths, fried gizzards, okra and grits, red Kool-Aid, and whole cake, because hoes got to eat too. Then, when you finish eating, you can get a manicure, a pedicure, or a full set. Come on down and have some of the best southern food in the world to date, and in Orlando too. That's Miss Seely's Soul Food and Nail Shop. When you come on down, tell them you heard it on the radio, and we'll give you one dollar off your meal. Also, ask about our $20 neck bone and cheese sandwich plus manicure special, only $19.93. <laughs> Hollywood Beauty Academy. Invest in your future. Start a profitable career in the beauty field. For a low tuition, you can become a nail tech, a skin care technician, a cosmetologist, or a permanent makeup artist, or learn eyelash extensions earn good money. The tuition is affordable for everyone. We have installment plans to fit your budget and flexible schedules to fit your own schedule. Call us at 407-292-6727 or come for a visit at 6112 Silver Star Road, Orlando 
888-2808. We are open from Monday through Friday, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. Hollywood Beauty Academy. Email hollywoodbeautyacademy at yahoo.com. Invest in your future. We are back. We are back to that is what I am talking about. We are continuing our discussion about regrets. And yeah, it's been a doozy. We've been on this topic, and I guess we could talk about regrets for the rest of our lives. But we're just going to uh, push on and move forward. Noah, I'm still thinking about what you said, and uh, I hope that uh, we can come to some understanding because, you know, my feelings are hurt. Well, Bob, you know, Bob, uh, I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, Bob. I just, I'm just trying to live my dream, Bob. You're living your dream. I want to live my dream, Bob. Want to live it, live it, live it, live it, live it, Bob. Want to live it, want to live it, like it, love it, live it, like it, love it. All right, Noah. We'll, we'll, we'll talk about that off the air, like I said before. So just never mind. Just continue to do the good work that you're doing behind the board. And let's get some more callers on the line. Right now, we got Rick on the line. Rick, you're on the air. Hello, Mr. Dingman. Uh, um, how you doing? I'm glad you let me talk, because, you know, I, I need some advice from you, because I listen to you all the time. Uh, Lolo, my cousin, so we listen to you all the time, all us at the house. We listen to you all the time, Mr. Dingleman. All right, Rick, we appreciate it here at uh, That Is What I'm Talking About. We love our listeners, and we thank you for listening. Uh, so what, you have some regrets? Or what What can I help you with here today, Rick? Yeah, Mr. Dingleman, uh, I just I just need some advice. Uh, I just came home from work, and my wife... She in the bed with another man right now. What you think I should do? Uh, Rick, wow, that's uh, that's pretty deep. That's pretty deep. Um, hmm, they're right now in the room, and you're you're in the house right now with them. Yeah, yeah, Mister Dingman, they they in the other room right now. Um, yeah, oh, wait, uh, I think they finished. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, that's very interesting. Um, hmm. This is a hard one here uh, for me to help you with, Rick. Uh, that's a very sensitive subject. Um, uh, do you have any friends or, or, or any uh, family members that can help you out here? Uh, this is a very sensitive subject. Yeah, Miss Dingman, but you know I listen to you every day. You know I like your show. You know I like what you say and everything. You help people. And you talk that good stuff. So I just figured you could help me out. Uh, and, uh, I, th- I think he just left. So... What you think I should do? Well, uh, Rick, uh, you know, I guess my question to you would be, what, what do you think that you should do uh, in this situation? And don't do anything that's going to get you in trouble, because I know that your emotions are raw right now. You're upset. I don't want you to get in trouble, Rick. So uh, maybe you should leave the house and, you know, go to go to a relative's house or go uh, t- talk to your mom or your family member or, or go back to work or just go to the bar and have a beer or something. And No, no drinking. Uh Go sit down and have a burger or something and get it off your mind. Nah, nah, Mr. Dingman, you know, I'm all right. I'm pretty laid back, guy. Pretty easy going. You know. I, I think she ain't not smoking a cigarette right now. She know I got asthma. What you think I should do? Well, uh, that's very inconsiderate of her, but I guess that's kind of small compared to the other stuff that she's doing. So, she seems to be an inconsiderate person, so... uh Maybe you should go out of the house and, uh, you know, into to the clear air so that you don't get sick or or something like that. No, nah, I'm all right. I just I just open the window and that's all right. Turn on the fan. Well, you know, I got a lot of other stuff on my mind. You know, my mama, she moved in with us about a month ago and she put us out the bedroom and told us we got to sleep out here on the couch. What you think I should do? Well, you know, that's, that's your mother, so, uh, you know, I won't speak against mother, but, you know, I don't know. You got to find a solution if that's bothering you. you. Maybe you have to tell your mom that it's bothering you. You know, you and your wife have to sleep on the couch. But but, but wait a minute. You, uh, you, you're saying that, uh, so, well, where are you right now if, if your mother's room is the bedroom? And where where, where was your wife and her, and her company? They, were, they was in the room. Mama was in there, too. Yeah, she, she was in there with him. I heard her in there telling him what to do and, and stuff. I know that's my mama and everything, but what you think I should do? Well, Rick, you know, this is a sensitive subject, and, you know, you sound like you have a lot of issues, and you sound pretty sad and everything, so I hope that you can get someone that can really help you and uh, navigate through this process because these are some very sensitive issues with your wife 
and your mother. Yeah, man, I'm pretty easy going and everything. Uh, I just need somebody with some good advice. You know, my daddy, I don't know where he at. I was walking down the street one day, and this man had a cup. He had a cup. He say, I'm your daddy. Give me a quarter. I gave him a dollar, you know. He said he was my daddy. What you think I should have done? Well, uh, sounds like you have a generous heart. Uh, you know, did, did you look like him? Do you think that he's your father? Did you talk to your mother about it? She says she don't know who my daddy is, so I just don't bother and worry about it too much. I surely would like to have known who my daddy was. But maybe I'll go on Maury or something like that with my mama. You think I should do that? Well, you know, I can't advise you how to how to do that, but, you know, there are some things that you can do now, and if you have a good potential father candidate, maybe you should go on the show and explore the possibilities. Well, Mr. Dingman, I appreciate you um, helping me out and everything, because uh, I'm pretty sad right now. My wife, she, she still, she over in the room naked. She telling me to come here. What you think I should do? You think I should go over there? Well, uh, Rick, you know, really? <laughs> no, uh, that's not nice. Yeah, Bob, you know, Bob, come on, Bob, tell him the truth, Bob. Don't let him go over there and, you know, he's, he's looking like a fool, Bob. Everybody in America is laughing at him, Bob. Don't let him go over there. Come on, Bob, you know what's going on, Bob. Come on, no, no way, Bob. Don't let him go, Bob. Don't let him do it. Don't let him do it, Bob. Don't let him do it. Well, Rick, Noah seems to think that um, your wife is not, uh, that's not the most sanitary thing to do, to go there right now. If you're talking about what we think you're talking about. Yeah, she naked right now. She pointing. And she's saying some things I can't say here on the radio. You think I should go? Well, Rick, I can't tell you what to do. You're a grown man. You got to use your better judgment and everything. Oh, she wasn't pointing at me. The other dude coming back. What you think I should do? Well, uh, oh, wow, that's that's unfortunate, Rick. Uh, okay, Rick, well, you know, you got a lot of problems, Rick. I'm, I think you need to take care of that. Yeah, Bob, I, I, okay. She told, she was pointing to me. She want me to come in there, too. I'm going in there, Bob. I know what to do. All right, Rick. Well, you do what you need to do, Rick. We'll do what we need to do here on That Is What I Am Talking About. I'm Bob A. Dingleman, and always... I am bad. <laughs> Florida's Juneteenth Music Festival celebration, June 13th through the 18th, Orlando, Florida, 2013. 150 year anniversary of the emancipation of slavery in the United States. Sponsoring organizations, the Lampfield Community College, the Wells Built Museum, and the Metro Orlando NPHC. This is the Rim Goldstein. And this is Grandma. We have formed a new business, and we would like you to join our new business. Yes, my company name is HOA, Whore, Whores of America. And my organization name is PIP, Pimping in Progress. And, and together, together we, we are Whores and, and Pimps. Pimps. Please join us every Sunday at the Redeemer on High. Who looks down low And if you don't act right You know where you gonna go Straight to hell <laughs> Grandma ain't going no hell Now I ain't gonna promise you I won't be there every Sunday But I'll try uh, Grandma ain't gonna promise you That's her money deal You ain't gonna be there what so I can't promise you about? I'm gonna be there this is I just joint let bitch. you run it Every now and Let years. me run it What are you talking about Let me That's my choice I'm gonna run everything You ain't running nothing but your money Look mouth. here old woman Oh, who you calling old, old man? I'm calling you old. You holding me? Who ought to be my mama? Well, I never. And you probably never will. Stop the 
violence and embrace concert and candlelight visual presented by the gospel detonaires and our japanaki music saturday july 13 2013 at 5 p.m free admission location mount pleasant mbc 4077 prince hall boulevard orlando florida 32811 stop the violence and embrace concert and candlelight visual this is All right, we're back, and we appreciate everyone calling and talking about regrets and everything. And so it's interesting. Everything is interesting, and we love your topics. We love your uh, your commentary. And everybody, please keep calling in. Please keep checking us out on WDROPDE4445 on your Internet Drive, at Bob A. Dingleman on Twitter, and Bob A. Dingleman at gmail.com. We appreciate all of the love and support. And we're going to come back with some more wonderful topics. Email us your topics. We're going to explore them and talk about them and really, really get to the heart of what everybody's talking about and what everybody wants to talk about. Noah, have anything to say? Yeah, Bob. Uh, yeah, uh, Bob. Uh, I'm sorry, Bob. I don't want to hurt your feelings, Bob, and everything. But, uh, you know, I, I still want to be a, a host and everything, Bob. And I hope you can help me out and help me realize my dream, Bob. If not, I'm going to quit. Oh, uh, why, why would you take such a harsh tone with me, Noah? I thought we were cool. Anyway, Noah, we're going to talk about that off the air. We appreciate you listening. If Noah's not here the next time, people, you know I fired his ass. The fictional characters on this show are based on real life events. These characters are owned and created by Golden Ears Entertainment in partnership with the Jimmy Williams Show. All rights reserved.